Hello, Earthlings. Welcome to my channel today. It's actually January 1st, so I wanted to make sure to get this done and out real fast. We're gonna do my 2019 beauty favorites, creating this look using all my favorite products from 2019. It's a whole lot of makeup. Uh, these weren't necessarily products that launched in 2019, just products that I became obsessed with in 2019, and I think they're really good and worth your cash. So if you want to see how I got this beautiful look uh, and hear my 2019 favorites, then keep on watching. Okay, we are going to break down my favorites in this look today. You're gonna have to ignore this. It's not a cold sore. I bit my lip really hard, so we've got that going on. I digress. I wanted to do my 2019 favorites as an entire look, so we'll do like a little get ready with me as I talk about the products, starting off with face primer. Okay, so typically the way I like to do my makeup is I will put on my face primer and then I will go into my eye makeup next, so that way if I get any fallout, I can just like wipe it off really easily without having to undo all the skin makeup, but I like to let my primer soak in, kind of while I'm doing the eyes. So my number one face primer of 2019, the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I'm just gonna keep it real. A lot of the products that you're gonna see in today's video are Charlotte. I I had purchased some Charlotte Tilbury products myself and then they also sent me some in PR, maybe about like midway through the year. So this was one of the items that they had sent me in PR and I'm glad they did because I think it's one of those things I probably would not have bought for myself, but it became my favorite product primer pretty quickly because you can just see like the instant glow it gives to the skin. So you do get some of that hydration. It's not like her magic cream or anything. It's not like a like a priming moisturizer. It's a true makeup primer that just kind of adds like an element of glow. Doesn't necessarily help with the longevity of makeup, but, but it does give you a great glow. It is $55, which Charlotte. Why Charlotte? All right, we're gonna move on to eye primer. Honestly, you could play a drinking game with this. Take a shot every time Kelsey uses the Smashbox photo finish eyeshadow primer. This is my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer. I think it works better than a paint pot. It has more longevity, never creases. I do have really dry skin, but I have very oily eyelids, and I've never found a primer for eyeshadow that works better than this. Like, I have full work days at the office, and my eyeshadow always looks flawless at the end of the day. I don't remember the price of this one, but I think it's in the $20 to $30 range, so it's not even that bad for a full tube, and this has lasted me a good chunk of time. Okay, here's the deal. I Eyeshadow. When it comes to a 2019 favorite, I am so disappointed to say I couldn't pick one. There was nothing that got launched in 2019. Not it, This video isn't really about like even what got launched in 2019 as a favorite, but a lot of new eyeshadow palettes did come on the market this year. None of them were really that exciting to me. And then even when it came to like my old favorites, I pretty much just like gravitated back towards the same things. To be honest, I used bronzer in my crease a lot and then would do an eyeliner and a glitter eyeshadow topper. There really were just no eyeshadow palettes that I used regularly enough this year to claim a 2019 favorite. However, I do have an honorable mention that I want to talk about and actually like Alana Davidson said the same thing. The Victoria Beckham Smoky Eye Brick. So I have the one that's in tuxedo which has like these beautiful smoky gray colors and honestly like this was the only palette that I thought, this was the only palette that I think like deserves a shout out and I used at least somewhat regularly even though this came out like towards the end of the year. But really what I like to do is I like to take a little bit, I like to take bronzer in my crease first which if you have not tried this method yet of eyeshadow. I highly recommend. Often your bronzer makes a really beautiful natural crease color. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into this like gray color that's right here with the same brush and start feathering that into the crease, but like a little bit lower. And then I like to take it all the way down across the lid. So it's just like a very light wash of this gray. And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna come in with this like dark brown that's on the end here. So there's a dark brown and a like basically a black. I honestly just love like the layout of these palettes. I think they're so well organized. Quality of the shadows are so good. Like the pigment is just really rich. They aren't cheap, I think this little palette is like over 50 bucks, but I'll give it to you, Victoria. Good shiz. Yeah, I don't know you guys, just like between the packaging and the layout of them, like I just think that, I think that these are really well done. Um, and I really like them for travel, especially. Like the fact that I just was able to create like a quick smoky eye, two seconds flat. My husband just turned on the shower, which is right next to my office. So it's gonna be loud, but I need to get this done because we're actually going to his parents for um, New Year's, like brunch, dinner kind of thing. So keep it moving. I'm actually really excited about the next category because it was a category that I didn't mess around with a lot. I think in like 2017 or 
or 2018, really any year before 2019, and that has to be glitter eyeshadow toppers. So the glitter eyeshadow topper thing, I think like blew up. Victoria Beckham had some great ones, which I think were so close to making my favorite in this category. But I really have to give a shout out to the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows. I have two of them here. I have Reflect and Aura, 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 I don't know how to say that. One is a bit pinkier and one is like this bronzier shade, but they're just both like freaking amazing to be honest. Like I've just absolutely loved playing with them. I'm gonna use, of course, Reflect. Every time I pull these out, I think I'm gonna use the Aura one, Aura, 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 I think it's Aura. Oh my God, that's so bad, I can't pronounce it. But Reflect is just such a good shade. I've been obsessed with it all year. I just take my ring finger and like literally what I will do for work most days is I will just pop a bronzer into my crease and then this all over the lid and like run out the door. It's just so pretty. Ugh. Why am I so beautiful? You guys, hands down the best glitter topper eyeshadow situation I've used all year. That was, this was like the easiest pick for 2019 favorites. These just amp up any look that you're doing. So you could totally do like an all matte look with those Phoebe palettes. They don't have sparkles in them. So I just get like extra oomph from the hourglass. And then usually I just take a crease brush and run through to blend out. Love that. Seriously obsessed. What a like beautiful, easy little smoky eye with some of my favorites. Okay, we're gonna step away from the eyes for a bit. We'll come back and do like liner, mascara, all that stuff later. But we're gonna bounce over to the skin to finish that up. So starting with my number one pick for foundation. Cheating a little bit because it's not really a foundation. Again, if you follow me, no shocker, it is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This is hands down my favorite CC cream. I was addicted to like the Chanel one for a bit, which was also really good. I loved it. They took it off the market for a bit to reformulate it and repackage it, and then they brought it back recently. I think they brought it back like earlier in 2019. I still love that one, but this one is just, it's a better price point. I think it's like 38 or 39 bucks versus the Chanel is in the 50s. And this is more medium buildable coverage. So I feel like I don't need a foundation because this has enough coverage for me. This is the original formula. They actually make it in a dry skin formula and an oily skin formula. I've actually tried all of them even though I have dry skin. And even though I have dry skin, I don't love the one for dry skin. It's very, it's like too dewy. This is like a very satin, like natural glowy finish versus the other one was like, it was dewy. You can just see like I struggle with redness and some acne, but this just covers it right up. I've been using this for a few years now. I think there was like, I was watching an old video of mine where we went to Vegas like a couple years back, a couple holiday seasons back actually, I think like maybe two years ago. And I did a little get ready with me in the middle of that video and I used this. <laughs> so long time love, the It Cosmetic CC Cream. Great for every skin type, medium full coverage. What else can I say? It's amazing. All right, next we're gonna talk about concealer. I'm only gonna talk about a highlighting concealer today, not one for acne. My my 2019 favorite concealer for highlighting is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Uh, this is not great for acne for the main reason that it is like a brightening concealer. So when you do that, you are highlighting. And I can't think of any reason under the sun why you would want to highlight a zit. So not a good concealer for acne. My favorite acne concealer is honestly like the MAC Studio Fix because if I'm trying to cover a zit, I'm trying to, trying to cover the zit, you know what I'm saying? But the NARS is just so good if you have like normal to dry skin, great for under the eyes, doesn't crease or get crepey and just like instantly brightens that area. Okay, we're gonna move on to powder. I do have dry skin, so I'm not a big powder girl, but the one powder that in 2019 just like blew me away was actually the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder. This is absurdly, anything from Charlotte is absurdly expensive. It kills me. It kills me because I did a video about her stuff earlier in the year. Did they send me this one or did I buy it? I think I paid for this actually. They sent me a bunch of stuff, but it wasn't enough to do a full face. It wasn't enough to do a full face of makeup, so I had to go and buy some stuff so that I could film a video. And it angered me how much I liked everything, because I don't want to be recommending stuff that's just like so gosh darn expensive, but I mean, good lord, Charlotte, it's good. It's good. This powder is just so finely milled that even if you have dry skin, it, it doesn't, doesn't look powdery. It looks amazing. Definitely my favorite powder of 2019. We're just gonna keep it in the Charlotte family. My favorite bronzer for 2019, uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Uh, this does come with a bronzer and a highlighter. The highlighter is, it's nice. Don't get me wrong, it's not, not nice. It's not my favorite of 2019, so stay tuned for that. 
Uh, but the bronzer is like a nice, cool toned, almost like a sculpting shade, to be honest. I use it as a bronzer, but I think you could get away with it as a contour if you wanted to. I don't really contour. I just kind of take it on the temples and into the hollows of the cheek, down the sides of the nose, maybe across the chin. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just a really good shade. Again, like they sent me this. This for sure came from PR, uh, but I will repurchase it. It, it was. It was sent to me in the spring and I've barely made a dent in it. It's pretty crazy. I've been using it like almost every day. I just love the shade of it. So if you have skin skin tone similar to mine, I think you could get away with using this shade of it. They have a couple shades. This is fair to medium. I do think they have one more shade that's slightly darker. So not the best shade range in the world, but uh, you know, but I think it's flexible enough that most people could uh, could find one that, that suits, suits your needs. And I just love it. I, again, just kills me that I love Charlotte so much. She's so expensive. All right, blush, my number one blush pick of 2019. It's, again, not a 2019 launch. This is a, uh, this is an old favorite if you've been here a while. NARS Super Orgasm. I have hit pan on this and uh, it is the blush that keeps on giving. It just never seems to die. It's just a really flattering shade of like peachy pink. It's so natural looking. It just gives you like such a beautiful natural flush. It's just one of those like fail safe colors. Like no matter what I'm doing, whether it is more of an event look or an everyday, like I know I can pop it on and just always feel good about how it looks, about how it looks with everything else I'm wearing. And this one is the Super Orgasm. It gives a little bit more of a glow. It does have some shimmer in it. So they make a regular version that is not as shimmery if that's of interest to you. I just love NARS Orgasm. It's so nostalgic for me. All right, highlighter. This was a 2019 discovery. My favorite highlighter of the year has to be the Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter. I have this in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I loved the fact that they do these two different shades in here. So it's sort of like you're paying two for one which honestly, thank goodness, because this is $36. It's expensive, very expensive. But I just love these shades. So you've got one of the shades that's like a little bit more demure, soft focus, and then the other one is like, bam, we're gonna go with the bam shade today. Sometimes I mix them. I just love that you get two options in this. I love the shade, I love the formula. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, love. Just can't say enough good things about that highlighter. I actually discovered it when I was doing like a wedding makeup trial on myself. I didn't, did I end up using this? I don't think I did. I don't think I actually ended up using this on my wedding day, but it was like a, a high runner up there. Um, and that's what I originally purchased it for was to wear on my wedding day. Great highlighters. My poor lips are just so chapped. I bit it so hard. I'm just using some Glossier Bomb.com, which if I had to pick a number one lip balm for the year, probably the Bomb.com. This is a coconut one. Makes me feel like I'm on a beach. Mm. All right, let's move on to brows to start wrapping up the face. My number one 2019 pick for a brow pencil has to be the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And then I also use it with the Gimme Brow. This is a little mini one, it's very small, but I just love, I love Benefit for brows. I don't know what to say, you guys. They just, they do it so well. I am not somebody that needs a bunch of like very precise little hairs. So I know some people are into like the dip brow and things like that. Um, I think you gotta figure out what, what your brow specifically needs. Benefit also has a whole host of like new stuff. They have a cool pen thing I've been dying to try. Benefit, put me on your PR. Help me, I'm poor. I just like to kind of like fill in the front and end sections with the pencil if I'm actually doing that. Honestly, if I'm going to work, I don't even do that. I actually just use Gimme Brow if I'm on my way to work. Gimme Brow helps the brow last all day, like the color that you just put in helps keep it in place. And then for me, I like to actually brush up a little bit so it gives like a hair-like effect. Fact. Well, I mean, it, it is hair, so yes, it is hair-like. My only thing is sometimes I get little clumpies, like where the brush deposits a little bit too much of the gel, but you know, we can't all be perfect. All right, let's go back to the eyes. We're gonna talk about eyeliner. My favorite eyeliner for 2019 was a 2019 find, the Stila Stay All Day. Is that what you're called? Yeah, Stay All Day. The Stila Stay All Day waterproof liner. Again, this was one that I picked up for the wedding because I kind of knew I would be bawling my eyes out, but I ended up just liking it for every day. It has just a beautiful fine tip that you really just can control. It comes in a whole host of colors. This is this is just black, but to be honest, I kind of want to get it in brown. And I almost just like to like stamp it. Like I kind of like stamp the edge of it along the eye. Because it's so fine, it just gets right up against the lash line. Well, I don't know that those wings are quite even, but 
it's gonna have to do. I just love that liner. It's actually something that I feel like I can just get a quick wing with. I don't need a brush. Usually I like to take a gel eyeliner to do my wings with like an angled brush, but I feel like I have enough control with this eyeliner. So definitely my top pick for the year. All right, so for mascara, my top pick, I don't know. I kind of shocked myself with this one. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. This is a $29 mascara. My, my runner up, my ride or die was really always the Dior Show, just the classic Dior Show mascara. Love that mascara, super good. Um, but I, I always kind of liked Dior Show when it, it the tube had been open for a little bit, like not that wet goopy formula, like it gets a little bit dry. And this one tends to be that right out of the tube, which is just such an interesting, such an interesting formula. I just tend to prefer my mascaras a little bit on the, not dry, but drier side. Like I don't love like a wet mascara. So I don't, I don't know. It's interesting because it's not that I think that this mascara gives me the craziest lashes. I think that like you get a lot of fullness and you get a lot of volume and length. Um, it's, but it's, it's not like crazy. I just love it because it was such a good everyday mascara for the whole, just the whole year. It was just such a good formula. I could pop it on. It never looked over the top. It, it looked like sexy, but natural at the same time. And I love the consistency of the formula. No flaking either. I'm very prone to mascara flaking. I don't know why, but if a mascara is going to flake, it's going to flake on me. And mascara is like, I'm not big on returning makeup. Usually I'll just like power through it because I hate waste. Um, but flaky mascaras, I return them. Like I remember I did a whole review on the benefit. I think it was like the bad gal bang maybe mascara. It's like a year ago. Did a whole review and said like it was good. And then I returned it two days later and had to like update the video to say it was trash. Too flaky for me. I love this eye look. It's almost like daytime sexy smoky eye. Let's wrap this look up with the lips. My number one lip liner pick for the year of 2019 is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. There's a reason every YouTuber is obsessed with it. It's just, especially in this shade, is this Bitch Perfect or is that, no, this is Pillow Talk. Bitch Perfect is the lipstick I love. Like, especially in these nude shades, just so pretty. And then to go with that, my favorite lipstick of 2019, pretty much any Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I just, again, like Charlotte Tilbury is just winning 2019 to me. So this shade is easily my favorite shade. It's like so indented for me using it. It is called Bitch Perfect. It is just a sexy pinky nude and I'm obsessed with it. I don't even usually like to toss gloss over it. It's such a hydrating formula. She makes great lipsticks, great lip products in general. I think it's one of the things she's pretty well known for. It's worth it. They're expensive, but wow, it's a great lipstick. And then the last item to talk about is lip gloss. Honestly, I don't love to put lip gloss over this because I love this lip, but I do want to shout out to the number one lip gloss of the year for me, which was the Fenty lip gloss. So this is called the Gloss Bomb. This one is in the shade Fussy. Again, this was another one that I picked up for my wedding look. I don't normally do um, gloss, but I loved this one. First of all, it smells freaking amazing. And second, it's just such a good, like, such a good nude shade. My lips look juicy and amazing. I love it. I don't know, I've tried a lot of glosses. I love the Buxom glosses. Um, I love the Patrick Ta glosses that just came out, but Fenty, you you won the year. You won, you won the lip gloss for the year. Okay, you guys, well, that's gonna be it for this video. Those are all of my 2019 favorites. I hope that you enjoyed this little get ready with me. Let me know some of your favorites down below. Um, maybe some of ours aligned and we have some of the same faves or uh, I hope you try out some of the ones that were were my fave for the year so anyway please give this video a big thumbs up for me join my bagel babe family subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one bye guys